this map o -matic tutorial, as you might call it, is actually, I'm just going to show you some of the types of maps you can create with map o -matic. Of course, the sky's the limit. Your imagination is the limit. But here's a few uh, that I've made that might give you an idea of what you can make. So one that I've shown in a few of these tutorials is Places Lived. So it gives you pretty much the United States plus Alaska. And as you hover over these areas, you'll see the information I added, uh, which is the names of the places. California, there's several. So to really uh, get them and get all the information, you have to zoom in use the mouse wheel if you got that and you can zoom in and see all these places from Eureka to Fort Bragg to etc cetera, etc cetera. okay for the next one let's take a look at Eagle's birth places which I think is kind of interesting because not only do I enjoy the band's music but it's interesting that they were located all over the country their origin where they were born from California to Florida etc and beyond. And both of those first two maps, the push pins are in the same color, but they don't have to be. You can specify the colors. And you'll see one example of that here. I made a map for each year of the Civil War where the battles took place. And you'll see that they're color coded. This is 1865, the last year of the Civil War. And there's actually five different colors that are shown here. There's basically two. Blue indicates a Union victory. Gray indicates a Confederate victory. And you saw, we also have black for undecided or maybe a Pyrrhic victory. Red is a Native American victory because some of the Indian Wars were taking place at the same time as the Civil War. And finally, this one is uh, just a bogus one. So it ended up with the default value. We could um, remove that because I just put it on as a test. We won't do that now, though. But we'll look at the next map is the first one in the list, 10 Deadliest Volcanic Eruptions in History. So you can use it for a scientific type information like this. You can see where they took place all over the world, spread all over the world, but three of them bunched up in Indonesia, including the second largest one and second deadliest one in Krakatoa back in 1883, where over 36,000 people died. Next, and you see that these are all different colors too. The push pins all have their own color. They don't necessarily represent anything. The colors just to differentiate them. Here's another one for sports fans, NFC Central Stadium. So these are the four teams in the uh, National Football League. Um, NFC North, you got Green Bay up here and of course Green Bay. Chicago Bears are red and all these are based on their uniform colors. Detroit Lions and Minnesota Vikings are in Minneapolis. St. Paul. For our next map, let's look at uh, points on the PTC or PCT, which is the Pacific Crest Trail in California. And this is limited to just uh, certain sections that I walked uh, some years back that I chose as the most bang for my buck in the time that I had. Carson Pass, beautiful up along Highway 88, Lake Tahoe area, Sierra City, very rugged, and Lassen National Park, Castle Crags, and Etna, Etna, a beautiful little town nestled in or at the base of the Trinity Alps, another very beautiful and pristine area and rugged. And finally, let's look at some more hiking trails, but we've shown uh, the United States here so far. Let's show something out of the United States. Alps hiking trails and ends. And the interesting thing about 
this is to me is that you can you don't have to carry 150 pounds of stuff like you do on the pacific crest trail if you're walking the whole thing you can carry minimal amount of stuff because every few kilometers every several kilometers or miles there's an inn you can stay in and this one this trail starts off in Liechtenstein actually in Vaduz the capital of that little country and then the rest of it is all Switzerland and obviously very scenic uh, terrain and mountainous terrain so those are a few examples of maps you can make with Mapomatic. Again, it all depends on you and your imagination, your needs. You could put locations of satellite offices for your company or properties your business is working on, whatever the case might be. You can use it for anything. And you can see the other two tutorials for specifics on how to do these various things.